live chat is the most important integration of your chatbot. In fact, I wouldn't even use chatbots if you don't have a live chat. But why is it so important? Because if a user asks a question to your chatbot and the chatbot doesn't know the answer, there's always a human that can ensure a good experience. But there are also other applications. For example, if you know that a customer is willing to buy your product, you can forward them to a sales agent who can close the sale. Now, let's set up our live chat. So if you head over to ChatFuel and you click on your chatbot, then we need to go to Automate. And under Automate, you will see your default answer. And your default answer is the message the chatbot sends to your user when he doesn't know the answer to a question. So for example, we haven't trained our chatbot yet on the phrase opening times. So the chatbot will not understand the user when the user types in opening times. So that's when the default answer will pop in and will be used. So this will be the default answer block and we are going to delete all this and change the message. So for example, you can say, sorry, first name, I can't understand, understand you. And then we can add another message with do you want me to forward this to a human? So then if the we can add two buttons for yes, with a nice icon with it, just search for human or maybe help desk. I don't know. No, there's nothing for help desk. So let's say a human or we can type in no. So this is what happens in the, in the block builder. And if I already said before in the previous videos that I made, I always recommend to use the flow builder. It's way more intuitive. It gives you a better structure of the conversation. So you, can, you must handle the default answer in your block builder. But once you've added the first messages, head over to your flow builder. So we will add a new group and we will call it Uh, we will rename it to default answer and then we will add a flow with default answer yes and we'll add a flow for default answer no so if someone responds with no it will go to this message and if someone responds with yes it will go to this message so then we can reply with just a text. So if someone says, yes, I want uh, that it's forwarded to a human, then we can just say, okay, I will notify them right now. And then we drag this thing to the next thing. And then we can say a bot action. And in the bot action, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to set this to live chat, which means that the chatbot is no longer handling all the conversation with the user, but it is handed over to a human. So based on that, we can also set a different dynamic menu, a different persistent menu. We're, going, we're not going to do it right now, but you could do that. And we can set the timeout to a certain amount of hours. I will set it to four hours, but you can set it to 23 hours or two hours or just one hour. Could be anything. So that's the first action we do. And if someone triggers the live chat, then automatically a message will be sent in Facebook Messenger to the admin of the Facebook page. So next to getting a notification as an admin in Facebook Messenger, it's also nice to have a notification inside your email. So we'll add another action and we'll say notify the admin via email and we can add email addresses. So we'll just add mine with live chat chatbot hey, someone needs your help. That's basically enough. So that happens when someone answers with yes. What happens if someone answers with no, then we'll just add a simple message with, okay, if you have any further questions, please let me know. So that would be the other option.
So if we go back to the automate section, we still need to connect these kind of messages. So we will hit refresh because we just made the flows and otherwise Chatfield will not see them. We will click on default answer and if we click on the yes, and this will go to the default answer yes, and for the no, this will go to the default answer no. So that's working. We now, to check whether it's working, we can just go to our chatbot they will still open yet, and we just can type in opening times. Then the default answer is triggered, so we can say, sorry Joran, I can't understand, uh, understand you, do you want me to forward this to a human? For example, we say no. Okay, if you have any further questions, please let me know. So we will trigger it again to see what the yes, if we type in yes, what happens, so we click on yes, and then, okay, I will notify them right now. And because I'm also an admin of the Facebook page, I will get this message here. But normally the user is not seeing this message, only the admin, and they will get it automatically in their Facebook Messenger. And then they can just click on it and they will automatically go to the live chat inside ChatFuel. So that's what we'll cover next. But also notice that if I refresh my email, then in my email, you can see that I automatically get an email, hey, someone needs your help. So then if we head over to the Chatfuel dashboard, you will automatically see all the messages that a certain user has sent to your chatbot. So that's really interesting. And you can also see the name of the user, their email and other custom attributes that you might set within your chatbot, but also their ID, page ID, their gender, which time zone they're in, all these kinds of different information, you can all right see it in the Chatfuel dashboard and you can just type something back. So you can type something like, hey Joran, how can I help you? And when you type that in, it will automatically, will be sent to the user. So the user can something back with, I want to know your opening times. And that will automatically go back to Chatfuel. I want to know your opening times. Our opening times are from nine to five. Well, that's it. Then you can just click on leave and stop live chat. And the moment you do that, the chatbot is automatically triggered again. So for example, if we now type in, hey, then it will trigger the welcome message and the chatbot is working again. So that's basically how you set up your default answer and your live chat inside ChatFuel. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you didn't do it yet, please hit the like button below.